Well, turning now to local politics, former Erie County Executive Joel Giambra is making a political comeback. He announced last night he is running for New York's 60th Senate District, which runs from Niagara Falls to Hamburg and includes the Queen City. He joins us now live to talk about his campaign. Joel, thank you so much for being here. Great, thank you. So you say you cannot sit on the sidelines anymore. Why are you throwing your hat in this ring? Well, I've been in the game for a long time, if you will. I've started out in this business many, many years ago when I was 24 years old as a city council member. So I understand what it means to be a legislator. So this is something that I'm looking forward to. I've wanted to get back in. I still think the issues I talked about 20 years ago are still relevant today, unfortunately. So we're going to resurrect some of those issues and introduce some really important new issues. Now, the 60th, uh, as we mentioned, stretches uh, a pretty long distance from Grand Island to Hamburg, includes the city of Buffalo. That is a pretty diverse district, um, one of the more diverse, particularly in, in western New York. What do you think are the priorities um, as you move forward into this campaign? Well, one of the huge issues uh, this year is going to be bail reform and whether or not it was appropriate, whether or not it needs to be changed. Um, the issues of high cost of state government and local property taxes are still a very important issue. Um, you know, we're still losing thousands of people every year from New York State to other parts of the country, primarily the South, uh, because taxes are too high. So we're going to resurrect issues like consolidation and merger. And how do you provide services better, smarter, and cheaper? So these are the issues that are going to be uh, front and center. Um, and we're going to introduce some really new, exciting ideas about campaign finance reform campaign reform uh, because right now unfortunately incumbents have a huge advantage so the only way to level the playing field is to change the rules and taking a lot of the money out will be very helpful in giving challengers an opportunity to serve so elaborate that on the changing of the rules well right now there's too much money in the system when you think about the fact that you know four years ago Andrew Cuomo was able to raise 36 million dollars let me tell you from experience that takes a very well coordinated pay-to-play operation to amass that kind of wealth. Uh, the current governor has raised a ton of money. So money is the, the problem, I think. And the reason we don't have better policy coming out of Washington, Albany, or the local level is because we're fixated on how much money you have to raise. And that means special interest, and that means stagnation. Mm. Uh, you talked before about the fact that incumbents often do hold that advantage, particularly going into uh, a state Senate seat just like this one. Here we have Sean Ryan. Uh, we offered him the opportunity to, uh, to uh, give us a statement. What he did say was, uh, or what uh, we do know, is that the Democratic Party, they endorsed him to run again. So. You will be likely running against the incumbent. You will be running against, of course, a Democrat in a very heavily Democratic area. Of course, Republicans way outnumbered. How will you surmount uh, that sort of disadvantage right from the get-go? Well, been there, done that. You know, in 1999, I was a Democrat. I changed to Republican in a county that had three-to-one affiliation overlay over Democrats. So, uh, over Republicans, I'm sorry. So, that didn't, you know distract me from the overall goal, and that is to uh, talk about issues that heretofore elected officials aren't prepared to talk about. Um, I'm not looking to make a career. I already had a career. I would think it was a pretty good career. Some might differ, but it was a career. So I'm not looking to perpetuate a career. I'm looking to raise issues that are going to be important to changing the outcomes uh, and changing some of the electoral process. All right, Joel, thank you so much for joining us today. And, of course, congrats on your announcement. We'll see you again, I hope. Yeah, best of luck on the campaign, Joel. Thank you. Thank you.